Question number 11. The following information is obtained to study the effect of the use of fertilizer on yield of corn in a rural area. Here the use of fertilizer is given and the yield of corn per hectare. Find the correlation coefficient between the use of fertilizer in the yield of corn. So let's take this information in table. Now here you can see the information of x is given in decimals. So for sure here we are not going to find out x bar or y bar. Directly we will use the formula of u and v. That is y minus v upon c y. Now here in the last question number 10. The answer was 0 0.5, 0 0.0. So there we keep cx as a 0 0.5. But here you can see there are multiple numbers. So for such kind of numbers you have to take cx as a 0 0.1. You can see it is not going to come in any one single table in the common table. So here you will take 0 0.1. And out of this first let's find out that which is the less number. This one is 0 0.9 which I am assuming it as A. It's up to your choice whichever you can choose. Whichever you want to choose. Now in V. CY. Here we can see the numbers are going with 0, 5, 0, 5, which can come in the common table of 5. So here CY will take 5. And for B, I am taking 45, which is the smallest number in the row. B is equal to 45. So let's start the calculation. Please hold your calculator. 1.5 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.1 you will get 6 next 2.5 minus 0 0.9 divide by 0 0.1 here you will get 12 this is how continue with the remaining and here we get sigma u as 32 next for v for y will take 60 minus 45 divide by 5 here we get 3. Again, take 12 minus 45 divided by 5. Here we get 10 and continue with the remaining. And here we get total 26. Next column will take get ready with u square and v square. 6 6 are 36, 12, 12 is a 144, 0, 0 is a 0, 9, 9 is a 81, 2, 2 is a 4 and 3, 3 is a 9. And here we get the total of sigma u square as 274. For v square, 3, 3 is a 9, 10, 10 is a 100, 1, 1 is a 1, 6, 6 is a 36, 0, 6, 6 is a 36. And here we get sigma v square as 182. Last column is for u and v. The multiplication of this two column. 6 3 is a 18. 12 10 is a 120. 0 1 is a 0. 9 6 is a 54. 0 2 is a 0. And 3 6 is a 18. And here we get sigma uv as a 2 1 0. So here we get all the information. Now let's put up into the formula. Here after putting the formula. Here all the value has been kept. And remove the multiplication. Now we'll do the subtraction of this. Here we get 428 out of 1260 minus 832. Over here we'll get 620. Multiplication out of this subtraction we'll get 416. Now get multiply these two number 620 into 416. You will get 257920. Remove the root of it. Here you get 507.86. Remove the calculation. Here the answer is 0 0.84. Don't forget to write down that here the correlation coefficient between the, between the use of fertilizer and yield of corn is obtained 0 0.84. Question number 12 on your page number 85. Find the correlation coefficient from the following information of rainfall in centimeter and yield turns per hectare for the last 10 years of a district. So here they have already given the information that n is a 10, covariance of x and y is 30, standard deviation of x is 5 and the variance is given of for y. 
hope you remember the explanation of the formula that which i have given you in the short questions short questions where the information will be given and this formula can be used now when the variance is given just remove the square root of it you will get the standard deviation let's start the solution here already the information is given in the question when the variance is given just remove the square root of it you will get the answer 12 now out of this information just put all the information in formula here we get the covariance of x and y is 30 standard deviation of x is 5 and here we find out the standard deviation of y is 12 get them calculate 5 twelves are 60 and here we get 0 0.5 so here we can see that hence the correlation coefficient between the rainfall and yield of crop obtained is 0 0.5 this is how you have to present your question number 12 moving to the next question question number 13 which is given on your page number 85 the following information is obtained regarding the height and the weight from the sample of 10 students of a school where x bar y bar sigma x y uh, standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y is given find the correlation coefficient between the height and weight from it now out of this you can see that the information is given which formula have to be used for this when it is already given st uh, standard deviation of x and y here x bar and y bar just find out which formula here we can use is this so just take the formula and put information in it now here i kept the formula and sigma xy that i kept the value of sigma xy then n is given and in the question n is not highlighted but it is given in the form of that the from the sample of 10 student of a school that is the n means here n is 10 so take n x bar and y bar that is 160 and 55 n again comes as a 10 as x that is standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y 10 so let's take the calculation 90,000 get them multiply here you will get 88,000 get the multiplication of this number then get them minus that is 2000 divide by 2500 and here we get the answer 0 0.8 so here is the answer of question number 12 moving to the next question number 14 determine the value of correlation coefficient from the following data here is the information is given the two information is given out of which we have to solve so here I already took into my book now in the book the value which is given that is the formula which is from the Carl Pearson, the first method which we have done for the x bar and y bar integer. So let's put up into the formula the values. First of all, take 45 under root 72 under root 32. Let's take out the calculation. Get them multiply. remove the root and here we get the answer 0 0.94 hence the correlation coefficient obtained is 0 0.94 don't forget to write that next is out of this information we can see the which formula we can use here we can say that is no standard deviation is given so obviously this question this formula will go with the x bar y bar all the both were decimal remember this formula so that's what going in this question here I put all the values in the formula then continue with the solution 108 remove the square root of this you will get 112.25 get them calculate 0 0.96 again here you will write down hence the correlation coefficient obtained is 0 0.96 moving to the next question number 15 the last question of this exercise find the value of 
are from the following data now here they have given average of x and y average means a mean of x and y means x bar and y bar next is the sum of square of deviation taken from their mean now sum means the sigma and square means a square root and deviation taken from their mean means x minus x bar the difference deviation means the difference of that is x minus x bar and y minus y bar whole square next the sum of the product of deviation taken from their mean now the sum means a sigma from the production of deviation means here we get x minus x bar y minus y bar that's what the difference of the production which is given over here so out of this information we will take the formula so here i removed all the information of this question now obviously out of this we can only take the formula that is sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar under root sigma x minus x bar whole square into sigma y minus y bar whole square out of this let's keep all the information in formula 920 get them multiply and here we get remove the root of it And the answer is minus 0 0.55. Here we complete exercise 2.2 from the Carl Pearson method. Moving to the next method.